Welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. We're continuing our series about the upcoming PHP Storm 2020.1 overview. In episode 4, we'll look at PHP Storm's updated support for advanced metadata. As you may know, you can extend PHP Storm's code awareness by providing additional information in a special metadata file, .phpstorm.meta.php. Consider the following example. Here, we've got a method that returns an instance of the class based on the class name that we pass to it. Notice that no code completion is initially available here. We can try to solve this by adding a var tag. But since the return type can be any, we need to manually consider and update all method calls with such tags. This is not practical, so we can rely on the metadata file instead. In a nutshell, you need to create a .phpstorm.meta.php file. Declare the PHP Storm meta namespace and provide your directives inside. For example, with the override directive, you can instruct PHP Storm that a function returns the entity of a certain type based on the provided arguments. Earlier, you could only provide zero here, and thus only refer to the first parameter of the function. In PHP Storm 2020.1, this limitation is removed. You can now specify any parameter's index explicitly. Here, we state the method's return type is set to the type of its second argument, and code completion becomes available. The new version also brings support for getting class properties via the get magic method. Consider the following example. Here, we are accessing the foo property of the service manager class. Let's say we are expecting the foo service type here. To handle this, we create another metadata file. Inside the override map directive for the magic method, we're simply mapping the string argument to the foo service class constant. And now, code completion for this class property becomes available. Let's say you're using an object as an array container for other objects. Inside the metadata file, you can define the accepted array keys, and you can map them to the corresponding return types. Previously, you would only get code completion for class members here. But in the latest version, array keys will be suggested too. When it comes to functions such as die and exit, or ones that throw an exception, PHP Storm treats them as terminating calls and highlights the rest of the script as unreachable. At the same time, there may be any other custom functions that have to be considered as exit points too. In the latest version, you can use the new exit point directive to mark such functions as exit points and PHP Storm will then instantly start treating them as such. Notice that as soon as we registered the terminate method, an icon appeared next to it in the editor. This is yet another tiny but useful enhancement. The icon will instantly indicate that this method's behavior has been altered via metadata. What's more, you can click it and jump directly to a .meta file containing the corresponding directive. Of course, you can customize this if necessary. In the preferences, go to Editor, General, Gutter Icons. This sums up the recent enhancements in the advanced metadata support. For more details on getting started with it, please see the PHP Storm docs. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more updates coming your way next week.